This is the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. Johnny Talk Sports here to bring you my divisional round preview and predictions. And we are down to eight. Eight teams left in the quest to hoist the Lombardi Trophy in SoFi Stadium on February 13th. Last week, I went 5-1 and one in my wild card game predictions. I'm hoping I can go 4-0 and this week. So without further ado, let's get to the predictions. Kicking things off with the Bengals and the Titans. The Bengals picked up their first playoff win in over 30 years last week against the Raiders in a game that had some controversy. But the Bengals got the win at the end of the day and they go on the road to take on a Titans team that I feel like has been inconsistent all season long. Ryan Tannehill hasn't exactly been performing at the level that he was expected and anticipated. Derrick Henry has been out for most of the year, and it is possible that he will play this week, but it is unknown at this point. We will get more of a confirmation later on in the week. But the Titans, they have wins over strong teams like the Chiefs in dominant fashion, the Rams in dominant fashion, and they have a win against the Bills on Monday Night Football. But they have losses to the Jets and the Texans. Although now that I think about it, both of these teams have lost to the Jets. So consider this the we can't beat the Jets bowl. The big issue with Joe Burrow throughout the year, at least in the beginning portion, was his interceptions. There was a point in the season where he was leading the league in interceptions. But in the last four games... He has played clean football, 13 touchdown passes, and zero interceptions. While Ryan Tannehill, he's only thrown for more than 300 yards two times this season, while Joe Burrow has been doing that quite a couple of times throughout these last four to five games. And with the Bengals having what I think the best receiving trio in the NFL, one of the three is going to go off this week, whether it's Jamar Chase or T. Higgins or even Tyler Boyd. I just think that with the Titans being so inconsistent throughout the year, even though the Titans, they are coming off of a bye week by getting number one seed, I just feel like this Bengals team has the hot hand right now. And I think the Bengals will pull off the upset by a score of 28 to 24. Moving on to the 49ers and the Packers. Now this game is going to be cold, but not as cold as originally anticipated. It was originally anticipated to be one of the coldest games in NFL history. But at kickoff on Saturday, it's going to be not that cold of a temperature for mid-January at Lambeau Field. Now this is a rematch from week three of the regular season in a game that came down to the wire on Sunday Night Football. The 49ers took the lead late in that game, but Aaron Rodgers had just enough time to lead a game-winning field goal drive to give the Packers the win. And now they face off in the second round of the NFL playoffs. Now, one thing to keep in mind, Aaron Rodgers has been hyping it up all season long that it's the last dance with the Packers. In his career in the playoffs against the 49ers, Aaron Rodgers is 0-3. So, something to keep in mind. The 49ers, I think they are one of the more hotter teams in these playoffs right now. Because the season didn't get off to a strong start for them. They were desperate with injuries. But they got healthier and they got better. And they picked up a big win last week against the Cowboys in a game where no matter what the scoreboard said, I think the 49ers essentially dominated that game from start to finish. They established their running game early. They went to their strength, which was the running game. They were dominant from start to finish. And for the 49ers to win again this week against the Packers, they're going to have to run the football. In fact, with the weather conditions, with it being cold, I think that's going to favor the 49ers anyway. I think 
just that. I think the game might play more in their favor. Which is why I think the 49ers will pick up the win in this game. Because I'll tell you this. This 49ers team, it reminds me of the Giants team that beat the Patriots the second time. Or even the first time. Either way, this 49ers team reminds me a lot of those two newer Giants teams. Teams that barely made the playoffs. Teams that came to the playoffs hot, got hot at the right time. Good defense. A quarterback that isn't good, not at elite quarterback status, but a quarterback that is good enough to get the job done at the end of the day. And that is what Jimmy Garoppolo is. As you notice, the big difference with the 49ers when Jimmy Garoppolo is under center and when he is under center. And I think the 49ers pick up the upset again this week as I think it comes down to simply which team runs the football the best. And I think it will be San Francisco because they're going to have to run the football as running the football is going to be in their best interest, keeping Aaron Rodgers on the sidelines, keep him cold, keep him freezing. And I think they'll get it done. I think the 49ers pick up the win by a score of 30 to 27. Rams and Buccaneers. And this is a rematch from earlier in the regular season where the Rams came out on top by a score of 34-24. But it's going to be a much different game than what we saw in the regular season. For starters, the leading receiver from the Rams that day was Deshaun Jackson. Three catches, 120 yards, and a touchdown. Deshaun Jackson is no longer on the roster. Tom Brady only had one touchdown pass in that game. In what was, what you can say from a touchdown pass standpoint, one of his worst games of the year. But he still threw for 432 yards in that game. So the Rams defense, yeah, they've been getting up some yards in quite a few games this season. And the Rams defense isn't as intimidating as it was last year, despite this Rams defense being more talented by adding in Von Miller. When you have Von Miller, Aaron Donald, and Jalen Ramsey on your defense, you're expected to be one of the best defenses in the league. But we have seen some flaws with this Rams defense throughout the year. Well, the Buccaneers, their defense was abysmal to begin the year. But I think their defense has gotten a little bit better as the season has gone on. In their worst game of the year against the Saints on Sunday Night Football, it was only a 9 nothing defeat. The offense just couldn't get going, but the defense, they held their own, only giving up 9 points. And let's not forget, Tom Brady is Tom Brady. And he lives for moments like this. And the way I see this game, I think for the Rams to win this one, I think they have to play clean football. And Matthew Safford, he has had moments where he hasn't been able to play clean football. He's been throwing a lot of interceptions, being a pick machine, turning the ball over a lot. And I think it's only a matter of time until Matthew Stafford, where he doesn't do what he was expected and how it was anticipated. Because as soon as Matthew Stafford was traded to the Rams, there was a lot of anticipation about how good the Rams can really be. And they were automatically painted as contenders. Sure, you can say they're contenders, but this Rams team... I still feel like there's some inconsistencies with them. Which is why I'm going to go with Tampa Bay to win this game. And I think it's going to be a shootout. I think this will be a simple matter of who has the ball last. And I think that will essentially be the Buccaneers. And we know how Tom Brady works, how he operates when he has the ball last. He pulls through more often than not. And I think the Buccaneers win a shootout 34 to 31. As Odo Beckham has stepped up for the Rams, Cooper Cup has been Cooper Cup all year long. But unfortunately, accolades really only matter in the playoffs. That's how you become a champion. And Tom Brady has done that seven times. And I like the Bucks to pick up the win.
Closing things out with the Bills and the Chiefs. The Bills absolutely dismantled the Chiefs when they faced off in Week 5. But that was when the Chiefs were really struggling. And Patrick Mahomes, he was turning the football over left and right. But then he realized that he doesn't have to make all these crazy plays happen all the time. He just has to play quarterback and just has to put himself in a position for the Chiefs to succeed. And it has worked. Ever since the 3-4 and four start of the year, only lost one game. And now it's the Bengals in a shootout in what was one of the best games of the regular season. Josh Allen for the Bills has been playing well throughout most of the season. There has been a couple of games where he really struggled, example, against the Jaguars in the first game against New England, but that was in terrible weather conditions. So other than that, Josh Allen has played phenomenal all season long. Five touchdown passes last week for Josh Allen, and only four incompletions. Absolute dumb performance against a Patriots defense that many thought was the best defense in the league. But the Bills, they have statistically the best defense in the league. So the question is, yes, the Bills, they beat the Chiefs in the regular season, but can they beat them in the playoffs? As pretty recently, the Chiefs, they've had the Bills number with the exception of Week 5. And I feel like the Bills and Chiefs, they squared off in a week, like Week 13 or Week 12, instead of Week 5, I think the Chiefs would have won that game pretty handily because of the way they've been playing football since. So the Bills' defense has to step up here to win this game because Mahomes, he also played lights out last week against the Steelers. And I think we're in for a shootout here. But at the end of the day, I think it's going to come down to which quarterback rise up the occasion. I think that's going to be Patrick Mahomes. I think we're in for... Hopefully, the best game of the playoffs so far. As if there was one team that I think could dethrone Kansas City for the top dog in the AFC, that would be the Bills. But I think the Chiefs, they pick up the win. I think the Chiefs have been the much hotter team as of late. And I think Kansas City wins by a score of 41-37. to 37. I think we're in for that high scoring of a game. And that will do it for my division around predictions. Like, share, and subscribe. Comment your picks down below. Until next time, have a great day.